as of season four of the treasure track in prodigy which is called leisure lagoon the treasure track has officially taken over several aspects of prodigy and while it may not seem like it's a good thing at first it really is beneficial to the game and the players so i'm going to be talking about all of that in this video as we know season four of the treasure track leisure lagoon came out on July 3rd, 2024, and it presented us with a large uh, span of rewards. Some rewards free for everyone, some rewards members only, and for the first time in the treasure track, some rewards were ultimate members only. Previously, the rewards were only either free or members only, so adding the category of ultimate members for rewards in here was a, quite a change up. Um, not every section has an ultimate member reward, but they are spread out through the top section so that ultimate members can have some benefits because of what they've removed. So let's talk about, well, what they've removed. First off, we have the removal of the monthly mythical epic quests that have been going on for like two and a half years now, um, since November 2021. Those were officially removed with this treasure track, and all of them, when you go on an account that does not have the mythical epics, they say, look for this mythic in a future treasure track. I have already gone over that in more detail in a video a few days ago, so go ahead and check that one out once you have finished with this video. It should be linked in the description. But we will be having no more monthly mythical epic quests. I know it's sad, but that's just... The way it is and of course we'll talk about why this is beneficial later on in the video another thing that was removed officially with this treasure track that began to be removed in the previous treasure track melodic mayhem are member boxes for melodic mayhem some people had the may and june 2024 member boxes moved to the treasure track while some people received the member boxes now officially the july 2024 august 2024 and on boxes have been removed to and the items have been moved to the treasure track as it says your member box has moved to the treasure track you will find your members only items in the treasure track and well i can't tell by the rewards what could have been in the member box I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it could have been some of the re-released items like the Tasmanian Tiger or maybe one of the new furniture items or something. But um, yeah, the items have supposedly been moved to the treasure track. I don't know what the member box would have been because we don't know what the preview was. But other than that, I can't really give a guess on it. But member box has been officially moved and we will no longer be receiving monthly member boxes, which is also sad because they've happened since 2018. So like six years, I think. Yes, it's been a long time since member boxes have been going and we will no longer be receiving any more monthly member boxes. So goodbye monthly member boxes. Those are officially gone as of this treasure track. And what is also gone are ultimate member boxes. Ultimate member boxes are now on the treasure track. It says ultimate rewards are now on the treasure track. This is mail that ultimate members received. It says complete treasure track quest to unlock special ultimate member rewards. And the thing is, just like member boxes, we're never going to be receiving ultimate member boxes again. They used to come out for ultimate members every three months and now we are not going to be getting any more of them. They gave two exclusive items, one pet variant and one other exclusive item. And now we're getting no more of those because they are in the treasure track and it gives us the option to view rewards. How nice of them. But we are no longer receiving both member boxes and ultimate member boxes, which it kind of makes sense. And as you see, we have, well, several ultimate member rewards in this treasure track. Um, we see, we have the Steam Engine Buddy, which I have already collected and can't click on right now, but that is for ultimate members only. I assume it would have been in the July 2024 ultimate member box, 
the season 13 ultimate member box which is no longer going to be arriving in the middle of july like it would have if not season 12 was the last ultimate member box with jester and burn and jester's throne and jester lyson ultimate members also get plenty of more currency they also get a new pet hat called the seaweed crown so that's a new legendary pet hat that is for ultimate members only. They also get all the members rewards, of course. But what is exclusive to them? There's another pet hat called the Fish Bowl that is ultimate members only. It is heroic and new, exclusive to this treasure track. And ultimate members also get the new, the newest pet, Lagoon Shade which would have been in the July 2024 Ultimate Member Box, I can assume, if it weren't for the Treasure Track moving those items from the Ultimate Member Box to the Treasure Track. So that is why the Goon Shade is marked as Ultimate Members Only. I've seen complaints about that. That's because it would have been in an Ultimate Member Box, so they are just making it Ultimate Members exclusive like it would have been if it were in an Ultimate Member Box. Same with the Steam Engine that we didn't know for sure but it most likely would have been in the next ultimate member box in july so yeah that is why those are being removed now as i said you may see this as a bad thing because you don't get to collect mythical epics through the monthly quests anymore you don't get to open member boxes anymore and you don't get to ult open ultimate member boxes anymore but it is in fact a good thing for both prodigy themselves and the community and players i got in touch with them and they officially told me that this is a much easier way for them to send us new content previously they had to keep up with things like the monthly quests the monthly member boxes the uh season three every three months ultimate member boxes and that was a lot it was a lot to keep up with making these this the all of the new items for each of those different things whether it be re-release or new items or whatever it may be it was a lot more difficult for them to keep up with all of that every month pretty much and for ultimate member boxes every three months and with the treasure track being their main system of delivery now things have gotten a lot easier as they can just put everything in this treasure track and make it well a lot easier for them to make other updates such as big updates coming to the game like the dragon isle that is coming this august and now with them just being able to put everything that the all the new items that they deliver like per year in different treasure tracks they only have to keep up with one thing instead of say three so that is why well, this is best for Prodigy themselves to switch everything over to the treasure track because they can get things out a lot easier and faster and they don't have to keep up with so many different things. And that is also a way that it is better for the community as well and especially new players because new players wouldn't have to keep up with all the new ways well, the regular ways of obtaining items anymore, such as the monthly mythical epic quests, the monthly member boxes, and the seasonally ultimate member boxes, they don't have to keep up with those anymore. New members can just find their rewards in the treasure track. Every new player can, new members can, new ultimate members can, everything can be found in the treasure track, and I think that this is a much better thing for the community and it, I know that it is a lot easier and better for Prodigy themselves. I know it is sad because I know I'm going to miss all of the different ways. I'm going to miss ultimate member boxes. I'm going to miss member boxes. I'm going to miss the monthly mythical epic quests. And I know a lot of other people are going to as well. But we do need to keep in mind the positives of this and how it is going to help Prodigy out in the future and ourselves hopefully so what do you think about these huge changes that came to prodigy with season four leisure lagoon of the treasure track 
Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments.